watch, Republican senator finally destroys liberal liars and all hell breaks loose. For years the Democrats have slandered conservative Americans and the leaders who represent us. They have accused Republicans of many deplorable things, all of which are lies. But, perhaps the worst, persisting lie continues to be pushed by the left. Finally, a senator shut down this lie with a powerful testimony in Congress, and that's about the time all hell broke loose. It's an open secret that liberals accuse conservatives of the very things they are guilty of. We know this for a fact. During the election, Hillary Clinton regularly called Donald Trump a puppet of Russia's president. Yet, today, we are seeing more and more evidence that it was Hillary who was performing for Vladimir Putin all along. One of the oldest and most tired accusations from the left is that Republicans only help the wealthy. It is an outrageous lie, especially considering how Democrats, for years, have pandered to the richest in the world. Yet, they continue to spread this lie so that hard-working Americans will vote for them, rather than the Republicans who are fixing this country. While working on the much-needed tax reform bill, Democrats once again pulled out this old lie. Senator Orrin Hatch finally had enough of their baloney and set them straight. His testimony was nothing short of epic. For far too long, the left has lied about Republicans. They want you to think that their tax cuts and policies benefit the wealthy and leave middle and working class families in the lurch. Then, why is it that under Obama, the rich got richer and the poor got poorer? Democrats have always pandered to the super rich in our society be they on Wall Street or in Hollywood. Hillary Clinton herself was buddies with powerful globalists. Regular Americans? She didn't even like them. The left's lie continues to fall apart when you consider President Trump. This Republican built his campaign around promising to bring jobs back to the United States. In his announcement speech, he promised to punish companies like Ford who try to move jobs into Mexico. Not really the words of a man who favors the wealthy. But, far be it for the left to let go of a juicy lie. The Democrats in the meeting continued to push this nonsense until all hell broke loose. The Democrats have nothing left to win over voters. They've lied, they've cheated, and now, after losing so much, they're resorting to old tactics that no longer work. Americans of all stripes are seeing how liberal policies don't help the poor at all, only make them poorer. But conservative policies help foster business create jobs, and provide an opportunity for Americans to be successful. Those are things liberals are unwilling to do, that's why they keep losing. The fate of the Senate's version of the tax bill is still up in the air. Hopefully, enough senators will support it so it goes through. Through.